GoFundMe deletes the fundraiser for Kyle Rittenhouse, an armed citizen who was in Kenosha defending people's businesses and properties. He was attacked over three times, all of which threatened his life. Now without a doubt the event was self-defense, but left-wing activists and the media have been smearing Kyle and trying to make him seem like the bad guy. He was only defending his own life. Hello everyone, this is Mr. Obvious, and today on the internet, we've got a lot to talk about, folks. GoFundMe has deleted Kyle Rittenhouse's GoFundMe. And the worst part is, they're promoting a criminal instead. Oh yes, they're promoting an actual criminal instead. And it's pretty, pretty, pretty disgusting. So I've got a few things to show you first. First, uh, let's look here. Here you can see on Twitter, at GoFundMe has deleted the legal defense fund for Kyle Rittenhouse. Hashtag Kenosha shooting. So Kyle used to have a GoFundMe campaign to raise money for his defense fund, but that was shut down. Here you can see, campaign not found, they took it down. So GoFundMe took this campaign down. Who did they promote instead? Well, one of the people involved in the shootings, a known criminal. Oh yeah, folks. Actually, Kyle Rittenhouse is the victim, and I'm gonna prove it. Although I cannot show you the graphic footage, I will show you Kyle, I will show you Kyle being attacked on all three separate occasions. Now, thankfully, an anonymous person online has created this for us, so we are able to see all of the times he was attacked. And, and this is pretty much what I can show you. So in the first attack, you see an African-American male attempting to curb stomp Kyle in the face. In the second attack, you can see a left-wing activist try to smash Kyle's head with a skateboard. And in the third picture, you can see a man with a handgun about to shoot Kyle. And uh, yes, this person with the handgun did shoot first. It looked like he was about to take his life. Kyle defended himself. Now, in all of these cases, Kyle was being attacked. He was being chased. This is classic textbook self defense. Now there's a lot of people saying that Kyle is in the wrong because he wasn't allowed to own a open carry, but that is not true. There's an exception to the law where if you're around the ages of 16 to 17 or something, you are able to use long rifles and shotguns. The ban only counts for handguns. So in this case, actually, Kyle is not breaking any laws because he has the rifle. This is legal for someone his age, 17. Now, whether that handgun is legal, I cannot answer. Now, we're going to talk about this and more because, you know, this is ridiculous. GoFundMe is literally promoting a criminal with a with a long criminal history. We're going to talk about this because all three of these people involved in these t attacks have criminal histories. We're going to talk about that, but before we do, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe and hit the bell button for notifications for more content. And if you like this video, please consider giving it a share. And now a quick word from our sponsor. Zuck the cuck drinks water like a duck, but he also drinks your data. So tell him and Google to shove your data up their schwing schwangs by downloading the Brave browser. It's free blocks online advertising and protects your privacy and data from evil tech companies. You only see ads if you want to see them, and you give cryptocurrency for your attention. Don't let Zuck use you to make a buck. Download Brave by clicking on the link down below. And we're back. So let's get into this, folks. Here on the RT, GoFundMe deletes fundraiser for accused Kenosha shooter Kyle Rittenhouse promotes campaign for his victim. Here is the verified GoFundMe to support the family of Anthony Huber, the hero <laughs> who gave his life attempting to take down a gunman in Kenosha and to save others. All funds will be sent to Anthony's partner and stepdaughter. So I really want you to, to see how they're painting this. They're actually claiming that Anthony Huber was some great hero. Here on GoFundMe, you can see, go uh, help Hannah. They've raised over $100,000. Honestly, it's it's very sickening to me. They say on Tuesday, 8 26th, Anthony decided to use his voice. You mean fist? And stand up for a cause that meant something while peacefully protesting. Anthony selflessly tried to aid in taking down an attacker when he was gunned down. So this is their narrative, right? But it's all a lie. Anthony was not a hero. He was an attacker. He was attacking this guy. They attacked him first. 
And you know, I, I've made videos about this, not just recently. These were not peaceful protests. These people were rioting. They were rioters. You know, there's, there's nothing that sets off more red flags for me than loop earrings and nose rings. But anyways, before I get distracted, this is not a good guy. And I'm gonna prove it. Here on Twitter, you can see Lefty Crypto who says, this is the man who at GoFundMe is calling a hero. So here he is, folks. This is the man that GoFundMe is promoting. Now, what crimes has he committed? I wonder. Oh, let's see. Second degree, recklessly endangering safety. Felony. Use of dangerous weapon. Domestic abuse. Strangulation and suffocation. Felony. Domestic abuse. False imprisonment. Felony. Domestic abuse. Use of a dangerous weapon. Battery. Misdemeanor. Domestic abuse. Use of a dangerous weapon. Disorderly conduct. Misdemeanor. Domestic abuse. Use of a dangerous weapon. J Jesus. This guy worked out a lot. Unfortunately, he used his wife as a punching bag. GoFundMe is calling this felon and domestic abuser as some sort of hero. Doesn't matter that he beat his wife or he beat his family or whatever. You know, he, he was apparently a really good guy. Yeah, I don't think so. You can clearly see that these three men were attacking Kyle. Now, if you look here at the following screenshot, Kenosha. All three anarchist rioters shot have violent criminal histories. And you can see pictures here. All of these people have criminal histories. A 17 year, and this isn't even all of the people who attacked Kyle, keep that in mind. These are just the people involved in the shootings uh, that were self-defense. Here it says, a 17 year old boy has been charged with murder in the first degree after opening fire on three anarchist rioters. Look, I don't know about anarchists, but these are left-wing rioters. These are members of BLM and Antifa. A lot of them are Bernie bros. You see the guy on the right? I made a video, uh, my last video actually, and it shows this guy arguing with, uh, with armed c citizens. And he's saying stuff like, shoot me, shoot me. And he's trying to start a fight. I'm not saying that he deserved it. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, this dude was looking for a fight. He was like five foot six. He had a lot of rage. And I think he I think he attacked him. He did. It's all on camera. He was seen picking fights the entire time. So Rittenhouse traveled to Kenosha with his AR-15 in order to protect small business owners and citizens who were being victimized after being abandoned by their state government and police. However, you can see that all of these people attacked him and they all have criminal histories. I mean, it's not a joke here. This is real life. Now, they're charging Kyle Rittenhouse with first degree reckless homicide, first degree recklessly endangering the safety, first degree intentional homicide, attempted first degree intentional homicide, first degree recklessly endangering safety, possession of a dangerous weapon. It's, it's all nonsense. All of these charges should be dropped. But since uh, since the the far left has so much, so much sway in this country and, and the left, they're going to try and prosecute this kid. Uh, okay, he's a teenager, let's be fair, but they're going to try to prosecute him. They don't care when these left-wing rioters beat innocent citizens, but it's only when they get hurt that they, they complain. Now, there is some good news, folks. There is some good. But before we get to that, I got to show you this. Remember the bald guy I was talking about? Here on the RT, shoot me, uh, bad word. Kenosha, teenage vigilante's victim, ID'd as a registered... Abuser of children, okay? He was convicted for molesting minors. Yeah, so so this is one of the people that was shot. And again, this was the guy picking fights with everybody, telling everyone to shoot at him, seen on video daring others to shoot. So while Kyle has his GoFundMe taken down, GoFundMe decides to literally promote actual criminals and molesters. It's almost like these are the bad guys. And you have left-wingers and liberals saying, oh, those poor people, they were just trying to save everybody. They weren't trying to, to, to take the life of a 17-year-old. Okay, it, it, it's, it's complete nonsense. Complete and other nonsense. They all have criminal histories. They were all violent individuals. One of them had a gun. One tried to smash his skull with a skateboard. No, this was self-defense. But we have some good news, folks. We have some good news. First, there is a legal defense fund. And as far as I know, this is the official fundraiser for Kyle Rittenhouse. Now they've currently raised $65,000 and here you can see it on givesendgo.com. Raise money for Kyle Rittenhouse Legal Defense. Now, 
I linked this in my earlier video, but apparently people are having trouble loading the page. The website is being overloaded by high traffic, but it does work. I was able to load this page multiple times, but I had to let it load for like two minutes or so, like a minute and a half. You can try that, just leave it open in a tab. It'll probably load, if not, just save it. Maybe check on it tomorrow when there's less traffic, but this is currently his defense fund. But there's also some more good news. According to the AG, Sandman lawyer L. Linwood offers to represent 17-year-old Kenosha shooter pro bono. So this is very good. The lawyer that fought for Sandman, the Covington teen who is harassed and smeared by the fake news media, is offering to defend Kyle Rittenhouse from the leftist mob. So this is good news, folks. He's a good lawyer, obviously, and if Kyle accepts the offer, and I think he should, he may be in good hands. So he's still gonna need money for support though. So I'm gonna link this defense fund. I'm gonna pin it in the comments. You can find it there. And I also wanna point you to this. Here on Twitter with Linwood, donations for defense of Kyle Rittenhouse should be made to hashtag Fight Back Foundation Incorporated a Texas 501c4 foundation. Please be wary of any other efforts to raise money for Kyle's defense. Website for hashtag Fight Back Foundation will be online within six to 12 hours for donations and info. So this is also being set up right now. It's not set up yet, but it will be. So if you're interested in using this avenue, you can. But that's pretty much the story, folks. I just wanna highlight the 17 year old dude. They're trying to slander him. They're trying to destroy his life. You have all these articles slamming Kyle and praising the criminals who attacked him. It's completely nonsensical. The footage proves it was self-defense and the footage proves that he was attacked by these violent members of BLM and Antifa. Oh, and they all have horrible criminal records, horrible. I, I don't think the world is gonna be worse off with one last child abuser on the street. Okay, maybe that's harsh, but that's just my opinion. If you think we're better off with molesters, you know, I guess that you're right as an American to say that, but not for me. But that's merely the obvious. Well, that's all for now, folks. What do you think about this story? Let me know down below in the comment section. As always, if you want to support the channel, you can do so on Patreon or Subscribestar. You can join me there. And if you do join, you will get access to a private Discord server. I frequent the server. People talk to me, sometimes we voice chat. It's kind of fun. Now, if you want to donate, there's Jonabox and Crypto. Links and addresses are down below in the description. And of course, if you like this video, please spread the word. More people need to hear the truth about Kyle Rittenhouse, about GoFundMe, and about all of this. We cannot allow these violent left-wing riots and rioters to continue. They can't keep getting away with their crimes because at the end of the day, they're playing the victim while attacking people. Anyhow, thanks for watching. This has been Mr. Obvious, and I'll see you all next time.